It sounds very Canadian right off the bat. Hey, CBC Music, I'm Getty Lee. I just wrote a book called The Big Beautiful Book of Bass. I'm happy to be here to play jam or not a jam. If I had a million dollars. <laughs> yeah. This is a jam. I love these guys. And I'm smiling. That's a good thing. BNL, go man. <laughs> I feel like dancing somehow. And I never feel like dancing. I don't know who this is, but I've heard this song before. And it's very disco. And it's a disco bass line. Same part that just repeats over and over again. And it serves the song. In its own context, it's a jam. But is it your jam? No, not This is not my jam. I spend most of my time imitating my uncles. Uh, yeah, this is not very jammy to me. <laughs> Not my kind of jam. Doesn't do it for me. It's just uh, it's a little poppy, easily uh, dismissed, I would say. <laughs> I know that bell. Well, this is one of those songs where the bass line's really doubling the guitar parts. So it's not, it's basically contributing to the heavy of the track. The, the, the purpose of the bass line in this is to add weight. Uh, it's got a bit of a twang, it's got a lot of heaviness, and so that genre requires that heavy metal pump, and that's what the bass line does, so it serves that purpose. So I would say it's kind of a jam. This is a jam already. You just have to give me an odd time signature and I'm all in. This is when I want to turn up. I'm digging this. Ultimate jam, best jam. 